Hey everyone, I'm out here at Kiwi's Custom Guns in Riverbank, California. I'm gonna be shooting some pretty insane guns in the state of California. We're gonna teach you a little bit of stuff, show you some stuff that, believe it or not, is legal for you to own in the state of California. This, not so much, but we'll talk about that in a second. I wanna say thank you to Kiwi's for having me out here and uh, hope you enjoy. Everything that you see here for the most part is something that is available for rent, whether it's the 50 BMG Barrett, whether it's the rebuilt machine guns that have been converted to semi-auto, whether it's the interesting suppressed firearms, all of those are available for you to shoot while you're at Kiwis. So if you're interested in that, check them out. They can also do custom AR pistol builds for you. So if you're interested in that, check them out. That is wild, shooting indoors and not blowing your eardrums out. <laughs> so the first round was the suppressor clearing out all the air that was in mm -hmm. it. So you get that pop. Exactly, so now as you continue to shoot it, and we're running it dry. So we're shooting the SIG Rattler. This one is a fixed magazine with a comp mag. If you wanted something like this, it gets pretty difficult because of the state of California handgun roster, which I am a plaintiff in a lawsuit with the CRPA for, but we have a suppressor on here because again, they do have a FFL 07 and SOT. So you can actually shoot this suppressed 300 blackout in the state of California completely legally if you wanna come here to Kiwis. So let's just uh, rip off a couple of rounds real quick. Should probably load it. That, uh, that's like the thing that I'm best about. Getting on camera and just hearing that click, you know, I'm real good at that. So it's kind of insane being able to shoot indoors without having my ears bleed. And that's just a very novel concept. If you're not into suppressors, if you've never shot a suppressed gun, it's kind of a very interesting experience. Just not having the concussion. This is like a five or so inch barrel and not having your teeth rattle is uh, very pleasurable. <laughs> that is neat. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> little smoke ring. That is crazy. And the coolest thing about that, is, that is, the, is that little puff of smoke yeah. leaving that like a cigar. <laughs> it's like, that's like the most <laughs> realistic thing about suppressors from like the movies I is know. the smoke kind of just oh, trailing I know. out. I know. Everything else is like not quite the same. But well, I, <laughs> we love it when we can educate people on mm -hmm. the suppressors because it's like everyone has this idea that it's going to be this. Yeah, you they, know, you they've seen movies. John Wick 3 where right. he's like shooting and you know. <laughs> but in reality, it's kind of like it's when you get the right suppressor mm -hmm. combined with the right gun with the right ammo. Yeah. It's darn quiet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. sweet. Thanks, man. All right, so again, this is the uh, dead air Wolfman suppressor with the extended uh, baffles on it. Okay, so, and the Matador 9 upper. Ma Matador mm -hmm. 9. They're pretty Mat new, I think, Matador right? Matador arms. Matador arms. Mat 9, Mat 9. upper. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of a tongue twist. And we're yeah. running um, 168 grain subsonics. Sweet. And this oh. is non-reciprocating charging handle, right? Correct, yeah, okay. non-reciprocating. Okay. <laughs> That is pretty sweet. I actually like the AM, the AEMS. Yeah. I've never actually looked yeah. through one before. Uh, she's like, you sure you wanna be shooting those, those suppressed pistols in there? Fuck yeah, yeah. because they're legal. Yeah. <laughs> and they can't do anything. If they say, well, you're, you're shouldering a, a braced pistol, it's all like, nice, there's an injunction against it. Yeah. yeah. Go pound sand, man. <laughs> I love it when I, can, when I can thumb my nose to the DOJ because they do it to us. Oh, <laughs> they thumb their nose while simultaneously ignoring anything that you need when you need their help. That spring assist really does make a difference. So what we're talking about on that, normally with these small pistols with the kingpin system that pops it open, if you don't have a big old suppressor at the end, when you press that button, it might not drop, but with the spring assist and obviously with the extra weight of the suppressor, that really just does pop open really nice, which much appreciated. That is sweet. That is just, it. there's something about shooting suppressed that like if someone's never done it, you have to do it. And if you're in California, 
there's probably not many places that you could do it. So come on down here, check this out. It's definitely worth it. So yeah. it's completely internally suppressed. There's oh, nothing to thread sweet. on or thread off. That's so cool. we just, when we want to put it back to, if people don't want to use it with the suppressor, we can put the bull barrel back on just by literally unscrewing this screw oh, nice. and pulling that off and throwing the new barrel on and screwing it right back. So in. a lot easier than like the Ruger systems where the yeah. barrel is right. like exactly. pressed in and yeah. part of the receiver. Yeah. That's and, pretty sweet. And, or a thread on system that is going to extend your, the length even uh -huh. further. Yeah. And then, we can't have threaded barrels in California. <laughs> yeah. So then you can't even get it to show people here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So this was the way around um, uh, that threaded barrel requirement. Cause yeah. It's it's all internal. It's all part of the barrel. Mm -hmm. There are no threads in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, the Smith and Wesson Victory is on the roster still, right? Or did they? No, the, the Smith and Wesson Victory is not currently on the okay. roster. So this is an off roster gun that okay. we only offer as a rental. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Safety. <laughs> There's something about Suppress 22 is it just like, it's just. <laughs> that is, <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I feel like you can't shoot a Suppress 22 without laughing. It's you, just. It, it's like you're like, you, what, you think you're shooting a BB gun. Yeah. But in reality, it's a full power 22. Yeah. 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 That is, that is sweet. That is sick. That is so cool. 22 target, uh -huh. but instead of, uh, because this is a takedown model. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, I'll let you. Um, the, we, what we have installed on this. Oh, let uh, me I'll see. just have her come over here so you okay. can see. Um, so what we have installed on this is a Ruger suppressor barrel. So this entire <laughs> piece right here is, is all suppressor. Um, all the baffles are uh, top to bottom, so okay. because of that bottom tube, you're getting mm -hmm. more volume to slow down the gases, Sweet. which makes it that more effective. If normally, if you're limited to just like the diameter of the barrel, you it's, can only get the diameter of the barrel so big exactly. without blocking any sort of sights, mm -hmm. and then the more volume, yeah. more suppression. So if you look at like the Osprey suppressor uh -huh. and the, some of those other ones where they look like big rectangles, yeah. and they hang below the mm -hmm. barrel, okay. it's giving you extra volume. Yeah. Really, the name of the game in suppressors is slowing down uh -huh. the exiting gases and letting them cool. Yeah. So the longer you can make that last, the quieter mm -hmm. it's going to be. That's sweet. The subsonic ammo we use um, just get, limits the, um, the amount of pressure mm -hmm. so that it doesn't go beyond the speed of sound because so you get that sonic crack. Because once you go over, is it like a thousand yeah. something, exactly. you get that supersonic crack. Yep, exactly. Nice. So there's that. Right, I'll give it back to you. And then... Um, other than that, it, other than other than the the, the barrel that's mm -hmm. on there, everything else is the same. Okay. Yep. So just 1022 takedown, the Ruger factory integrally suppressed barrel. Yep. yep. And then this could just be swapped yep. interchangeably. Exactly. With any other other barrel. That's yep. pretty sweet. Yep. So if you, because that gun comes with a heavy target barrel, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, it's, it's almost an inch in diameter. It's a big, heavy target barrel. Yeah. And even though it's fluted, it still weighs a ton. Yeah. And it's amazing when you switch out the two barrels. I think it's more accurate with that one on there, tell you the truth. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, got the bull catch on. Down the bottom there. Just, I think it's catching. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. Pretend like I've used a 1022 before, right? <laughs> so um, this optic that's on there, that is the new SIG BDX Easy 6. Okay. Very cool reticle, a very cool I don't think scope, I've actually 30, seen this one in person. 34 millimeter tube, mm -hmm. very short, yeah. for, um, but still with a good power. It also syncs up to an app on your phone oh, cool. that will give you a holdover uh, oh, with cool. a known projectile and known distance. Oh, and neat. that syncs to a laser rangefinder that will sync to that and it'll sync to your phone. It's a very cool system. We're just playing with it right now. And yeah. so far, we're having a lot of fun with it. Just That's pretty sweet. Yards. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, that is so quiet. <laughs> yeah. It just, yeah. that is. That is wicked quiet. That is just insane. And it like, I feel like it handles really well. For being that full suppressor, like that, it's just, you would think that this would be like an unwieldy right. beast, but right. that is. <laughs> That's so cool. That is, that is so cool.
That is, damn. God, it just makes me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> they might have a cool range, but do they have a Barrett 50 cal that you could shoot? <laughs> Probably not. Indoors. <laughs> yeah, indoors. <laughs> kill shot, that was a kill shot. This, um, but comp mag, um, pretty easy to do. Pretty sweet, I actually like these braces. I've, I've only shot with these a couple of times and they're actually like surprisingly sturdy for when you put your arm through, obviously. <laughs> Going from suppressed to shooting that. <laughs> oh, and you can feel the concussion so much more over here. <laughs> That's why I just wanted to punish you a little bit. <laughs> That is just a fireball. Fever is another. Mm -hmm. Once they clear their 10 day and they've transferred the gun legally into their name, yep. then they lock it back in for us uh -huh. to build it out into one of two configurations. Yeah. California compliant rifle or California compliant pistol. Okay. Obviously, so as the pistol, the comp mag is non-negotiable. Yep. And really, as it relates to, you know, if you travel out of state a lot, yeah. oh. it, it's the greatest thing because yep. once you get out of state, you can remove the device. Yep because now the firearm is legal mm -hmm. in that configuration in that state. Yeah, just and the new, the new comp mags right. that, they used to be that set screw yep. that you're pulling it out, now it's just Throw pop it. the gun Throw open, it. push that pin, it comes out. Oh yeah. yeah that's, that was a huge, yeah. when they, the Gen 3's changed oh, absolutely. the comp mag for yeah. me. But yeah, if uh, you're in California and you want to do a pistol, they can get you all set up. Thing down, you're not gonna be able to charge anything. Okay. So you gotta put it to, into fire, then just pull back on these. Okay. As soon as they're back, let go, okay. and then have so, at it. So tell me like, about like what okay. this is. So this is, a, uh, this is a, my version of a VZ-61. Okay. The VZ-61 is a Czechoslovakian copy of the Russian Scorpion machine pistol. These would have originally had uh, uh, 20 round magazines, they would have been a selective fire full auto, um, they would have had a top folding stock, okay. um, they were designed for uh, um, armored car personnel, um, pretty much anyone that needed a small compact mm -hmm. fire pistol. These had a very, very high cyclic rate, about okay. 1,200 rounds a minute. Um, the th I mean, what's like, a, what's like a Mac 11? Like that's about the same. Yeah. So okay. very so, yeah. so it all fits into the same category. The only nice thing about this is it's a lot more controllable mm -hmm. than some of the other uh, submachine guns of the era. Because this is 7.62 by. No, this is actually um, uh, uh, 32 auto 32 or 6.35 okay. Browning. I think <laughs> is, the, is the is the millimeter de de determination. Is that the original caliber for this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I prefer to build originals mm -hmm. rather than there was a nine millimeter version of this was a 380 version of it but seeing i i restore surplus i restore uh, old guns to their original fit and function mm -hmm. in a california compliant configuration yeah. then um i want it to be in the original caliber yeah. you know so the mag doesn't come out it's fixed in the gun uh -huh. it's only 10 rounds mm -hmm. um the upper actually pivots so okay. you load from with the with the opening it load it just okay. like the old um AR 15s, way back in the day, they had the fixed yep. magazine mm -hmm. in the lower. Yep. So you'd have They're, to pivot I've it all up. Like welded in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I took that kind of design and then we impl implemented, obviously, uh, some automatic fire control groups and everything else to make it um, into what it is. All right. It's actually like very pleasant. I, I don't know why I was expecting no. so. Yeah, that the is. The 32 great. ACP is a great little ramp. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, um, this magazine doesn't come out, it's yep. fixed in there. So to load it, we'll step over here to the... the now obviously this is not going to be a, um, a really viable defensive weapon because unless you're going to shoot 10 rounds and throw it at them, um, <laughs> it is a... It is, uh, it's heavy enough, it might do some damage. It, when it, it might out. do some damage. Yeah. This is more for your collector that, yep. that admires the design, that wants the to experience shooting it without the legalities of dealing with going a to license <laughs> or, or going to jail. Yeah, exactly. Sick. So the cool thing, the coolest thing about this gun is the fact that it ejects right up top. Uh -huh. So if you did a rapid fire string, there'll be a slight, a slight weight and then <laughs> you hear it'll the come down like rain. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you hear the... <laughs> Okay, so this is a uh, M1918 A3 VAR, or Browning Automatic Rifle. This gun is the semi-automatic version of that. Um, I didn't make this one. This is actually manufactured by a company called Ohio Ordnance Works. Okay. They have a very, very good semi-automatic design, so mm -hmm. why, why reinvent the wheel, yeah. so to speak? Um, Obviously, the original guns were uh, machine guns, and they were fielded in World War II as squad automatic weapons. Okay. Um, still shooting the 306 cartridge, the yeah. same as the 1919, the mm -hmm. M1 Grand, the uh, 1903s, um, but was a lot more man portable than a 1919 and a tripod and an ammo bearer and everything else. So this is just crazy to think that people were humping around with this. I know. It's like a, I know. Yeah, like. Infantry weapon. Right. I guess you know people are using saws nowadays. Yeah. And stuff well, like that. I mean, but, uh, you know, if you look at you know popularized movies like Saving Private Ryan, mm -hmm. this was in it, and you can see some some modifications that were made by uh, uh, the soldiers at the time. Like uh -huh. a lot of people took the uh, the bipods off, even okay. though the bipods were great for support fire. You know, as you can see, they they it's a lot of weight at the front, and they slop around a lot. And they yeah. Got, and they're not very easy to adjust because you've got wing nuts that you uh -huh. have to push up and lock them in. Yeah. And then the whole thing rotates 360. The okay. reason for that is so that you can actually get the mag out oh, in the in prone, prone position. So not right, for gangster side. No, shooting. no gangster, no, oh, gangster, okay. no gangster sideways shooting on this. No. <laughs> um, so um, you know, but your standard ladder sight, and if you actually look at the 1919, it's almost identical style of mm -hmm. ladder sight. So yeah. it's really cool to see the progression of firearms yeah. um, through uh, military service. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed this thing has the shoulder thing it that does. goes up. Yep. So yep. Feinstein doesn't like this. Right. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this, so this is this is uh, a semi-automatic firearm, just like any other mm -hmm. rifle, and it functions just as well. But and this is, uh, as far as it looks, I mean, fairly nothing modified for any other market. So like in California, this looks pretty much the exact yeah, same. Yeah, the only right? thing we do for California is we take the flash hider off. Okay. Yeah, because obviously you can't have a flash hider on, on a, a semi-automatic semi mm -hmm. rifle. So this is featureless, but it's nearly featureless to begin with. E exactly. <laughs> Cool. It is a very easy shooting gun. For a 30 6 you know, like you think of like a bolt action hunting rifle that weighs like seven pounds right, and then right. shoot, like this is nothing. I know, you know, I know. That's why that cartridge is still viable today. Yeah. You know, it's a great hunting round uh -huh. and it came out of a military firearm. Yeah, and like the operating system of like how you use it, I mm -hmm. mean, other than the mag release beam. Yeah, that's know, a little squirrely, but, um, but you know. Mag in, there's a charging handle that you pull back to the rear and let go. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. That is neat. And that is a that is a big pull. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is this something that you guys are like able to like get in on some yeah, regular so, basis? Yeah. Um, like, so for for people that were like, I want one. How do I get it? Mm -hmm. And it would just be a matter of contacting us. Yeah. Um, then we will we will. Uh, work with Ohio Ordnance Works. Yeah. To get one, and obviously probably not something that's just next day air kind of thing probably. no no uh, cause <laughs> man i can't imagine carrying around one of these all day i feel like i'm in a <laughs> bicep pump just holding on to this thing. i know right <laughs> uh, this is probably one of my most favorite builds that i've ever done because this is what started getting me into building old guns okay. you know um i got collecting military uh military firearms and you collect your bolt action rifles you collect your semi-automatics you know so i'm so just for the camera what is this again so this is a this is a bren mark one uh, even though it's got a Mark II barrel on it, but it is a Bren Mark I white machine gun. This one was made by Enfield and manufactured in 1941. So somewhere in its life, it was cut into three pieces by a blowtorch, um, <laughs> removing a, a quarter inch of material per ATF regulations. Yes. Then that is shipped into the United States and sold through as scrap parts. Yeah. Then someone like me gets my little hot little hands on it. <laughs> we clean up all the welds. It's a very long build <laughs> a lot of work goes into it but when it's all said and done 
we are very proud of this. In fact, we have a little game here which is called Spot Find My Welds. Um, <laughs> on the inside you can find them, but on the outside... I was going to say, when, I was, yeah. I, when you said that it was a re-weld, uh, re I was like, yeah. I, <laughs> right. I, couldn't, I mean, I'm not a machinist, I'm not, a, you know, but... I couldn't. Yeah. I was looking. I was like, I don't see. The, this gun and the last and the the BAR that you just shot. Yeah. Those are in the same category, meaning it's a uh, support fire weapon, um, fired from the bipod, so a squad automatic weapon, so to speak. Uh -huh. The difference with this versus the BAR uh, is you got to turn to the side and the prone to get the mag out. Okay. Um, with this one, um, you actually load from the top. So your assistant gunner uh -huh. is sitting next to you with a box of magazines and all he does is <laughs> pop it in like that and you keep on shooting. The sights are actually off to the side say, uh, uh, because it has a quick change barrel. Okay. You don't have the issues that the American machine guns had with cook off when the gun got so hot that the next round chambering in there would instantaneously fire because of the heat. Uh -huh. So the, um, uh, the Germans had that figured out with their MG34 and their MG42. Uh -huh. Which you guys do have here available. Yes, yeah, we, yeah. we so have. There's a lot of stuff there. Oh, have, yeah, but. yeah. We, there's, we build a lot of different guns, um, and we pride ourselves on making as close to an original uh, semi auto version yeah. as we possibly can yeah. using original techniques because we want it as close to the original That's as possible. Cool. So right now you are on safe, and then and and you're going to put a loaded magazine in there. Okay. Your charging handle folds to the side; it does not reciprocate. Okay. So when you're ready to shoot, you pull that out. You pull all the way back and let go. And let go. Don't ride it forward because we are we do have a striker system in here too. Okay. There you go. Push that forward. Make sure that your carry handle is out of the way, the line of your sight. Okay. And then you're going to line those up. That was actually a really pleasant trigger pull. I was actually like really surprised with that. <laughs> that is just such a pleasant like chunk. It's like good chunk. Yeah. Each time. Yep. That is, there, there's just something about all that like big heavy mass that just. <laughs> and 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 it actually recoils less yeah. than that BAR. Oh yeah, 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 right on. And that is the Bren Mark One light machine yeah. gun. And the only thing to make this California compliant was the fin grip, right? And then the, so we deactivate the, the flash height. Then we add a fin grip to the back, making a featureless <laughs> rifle. And because otherwise it'd be way too dangerous uh, to be on the streets. Absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, for California customers that don't have a high capacity magazine license. Uh -huh. We ha we block these to ten rounds. Yeah, yeah. Right so uh, by far, well, I bought all the, I bought all of my uh, Bren Mark One magazines during Freedom Week. Absolutely, twenty nineteen, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So by far my funnest build. Yeah. I actually made the Mark II version mm -hmm. after my dad passed away. Uh, we found his military records from uh, the New Zealand military from uh -huh. World War II. Wow. And um, I took his military service number and made that the serial number of the oh, gun. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, because he trained and he was the, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, he was more of a, a home defense kind of guy, uh -huh. uh, uh, working for defending the island during World War II. Yeah. Um, so uh, they had to cool. cross train on all these different weapon systems. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. So uh, a lot of fun seeing someone that actually used these yeah. and then having him later come and shoot my version. That's cool. So I made him one yeah. uh, as to pay tribute to his military service. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. cool. Oh, we got a light primer strike. This is made from. Um, uh, this is Greek HXP ammo, really good 303, but it is surplus ammo that was made in, uh, this one was 1985. Okay, so, so it's been around for a while. <laughs> ha yeah, ha having a, having a de bad primer once in a while on this stuff yeah. uh, isn't uncommon. Yeah. So yeah, so this is the Barrett M82A1, but this is a California version. So okay. before the 50 cal ban that stopped people from owning 50 BMG rifles came out. Mm -hmm. And notice he said rifles. 50 BMG rifles are banned in the state of California. I guess pistols, if you wanted to do that, <laughs> you yeah, there could. There is a 50 BMG pistol that is a <laughs> bit insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, Barrett decided that they would come out with a gun that specifically circumvented the uh, California's restriction on it. So this gun does not have a detachable magazine. The magazine is on it at all times. It's it kind of like an SKS. Exactly like an SKS, yeah. <laughs> Only holds 10 rounds. 
And uh, because this is a registered assault weapon, um, prior to the ban going into effect, mm -hmm. I can legally own this in 50 BMG. Okay. Now, if someone wanted to get their hands on one of these today, for instance, yeah. um, Barrett still does make them, and they do make a California compliant version, but it does now have a thin grip, uh -huh. and it is only in 416. Okay, you and I've, he I've heard good things about that round in general. People well, seem to really like 416 Barrett. Well, pretty much, that's your 50 BMG. So uh -huh. 416 is a neck down, 50, a 50 casing with a 416 projectile in it. And there's a nine millimeter for just size comparison. <laughs> it's, uh, but you know, size does not matter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's where you put this that matters. <laughs> okay, so the cool thing about this, because the magazine's all contained, we are going to load directly into the magazine. It's still a 10 round magazine, so that nothing's changed there. Because mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine people are. Are there even magazines more than ten rounds for the Barrett? I haven't. I haven't seen one. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, as it relates to what the Barrett makes mm -hmm. and what the U.S. military might service, yeah, um, there may be larger capacity. But I don't see why you would need more than ten rounds in this. At that point, it would make more sense just to go to. A, I think fifty a, BMG is one of the few instances where I would agree with someone. If you can't get it done in ten rounds. <laughs> Maybe you need a different weapon system. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a Mardus or yeah. something. Yeah. Okay, so that's all 10 rounds. So at okay. that point, you slap that up. Yep. Oh. Nice and hot. Give it a good tug. Why don't wow. you go ahead and have a seat? Okay. Okay, so for this one, if you you can either wrap your hand around uh -huh. up underneath, uh -huh. you can like that, yep, mm -hmm. or you can hold on to the front of the mag. Okay. We pr we recommend this technique because it allows you to kind of give the okay. rifle a little bit of support in your shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, we this gun is designed to shoot distance, <laughs> and we're only at 25 yards, so we're not going to do any hits. far. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is zeroed for a long distance. Mm -hmm. So for that, we're just going to aim center mass on the target. Okay. That way, we don't um, shoot off up into the ceiling or yeah. anything like that. Okay. Um, other than that, it works like an AR. It's okay. got a charging handle on the side That's right it. here, mm -hmm. so when you're ready, you'll pull all the way back uh -huh. as far as it can go, and then let go. And then safety. Then your safety is exactly like an AR-15. Okay. The grip. Everything else feels like that. Okay. okay. So let me step out of here, okay. and when you are ready, you oh, are. Okay. Can we good. We're recording, right? Yeah. Just didn't want to. <laughs> that is <Yeah>. something. <laughs> if my sinuses were blocked, they aren't anymore. Just a double feed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, careful on those. Those are super Get hot. In there. I'm just going to close that. Yep. And, and then we'll put this back, back in. Up. Yep. There you go. <sighs> Another one? Yep. Stand by. Yep. Got it. Dang with it right now. That is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we actually can't shoot it down here because this is where one of our CO2 sensors are, <laughs> and it sends so much stuff. But if you actually look up, you see how everything's being sucked down range? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's wicked. That is... Yeah, that's the ventilation system right there. That's... Even with as much... Um, uh, particulate matter that comes back at you because uh -huh. it's it's such a big cartridge. The ventilation system just pulls it away from the shooter almost in instantaneously. Wow. Should we try? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I got on that. I think you. I think it. I think it. Oh, no. 